Hello viewers, welcome to this video. This time I'm gonna show you how to use Rancher's Web UI to provision an RKE cluster. So last time if I show you my YouTube, I did this video previously about RKE where I created virtual machines. So I used three virtual machines and then I did uh, some basic setups like disabling the firewall, kernel parameters, installing Docker runtime and so on. And then we downloaded the RKE tool we did the RKE up command to bring up the cluster and so on. So that's using the RKE tool itself. But now we are going to use the Ranchers Web UI to uh, build our RKE cluster. Okay, so I'm going to go to Ranchers website, Rancher getting started. And the first link here, I'll put a link in the video description and you will have the command here to run Rancher as a Docker container. Okay, so paste that Docker run minus D minus minus restart unless stopped and we are binding port 80 and 443 to the host machine and we are running the latest version of Rancher. So probably you also might need to bind a volume so that when you restart your Rancher Docker container you don't lose your data. So it's worth binding either a Docker volume, you create a Docker volume like Docker volume create, give it a name and then use it here or you can bind mount a local directory on your host machine. So let's say I want to bind opt rancher and inside the container i'm going to mount it under war lib rancher so make sure to do this but this is just for a demonstration purpose i'm not going to do that so once i hit enter it's going to bring up the rancher container so the rancher docker container is running now i can go to uh, port 80 on my local machine and if i go to localhost it will redirect me to port 443 let's give it a few more seconds yeah so now it's up advanced proceed to localhost okay so now we are here we need to set the initial password and then then agree to the terms and conditions. I don't want to send uh, data. Continue. And instead of localhost, I'm going to put in the IP address of my host machine where I'm running this Rancher Docker container because I want all my virtual machines, the Kubernetes nodes, to be able to access this Rancher web UI. So instead of localhost, you need to put in the IP address of the machine where you're running your Rancher Docker container. In my case, it's 192.168.1.81. Save the URL and there we go. So we've got our blank Rancher cluster. And now I'm going to add a cluster. From existing nodes, create a new Kubernetes cluster using RKE. So this is what we want. We used RKE binary, RKE tool to bring up the cluster. And this time we are using the Ranchers Web UI and you need to choose this option and it's going to ask you a series of questions. So before uh, filling up any of these, I need my virtual machines set up. So in my GitHub repository, Kubernetes GitHub repository, under Rancher, under RKE, I've got a vagrant file, which basically gives you like three virtual machines, okay? So node count is three, depending on how many nodes you want in your cluster, change this and make sure you've got enough resource on your host machine and that node count is three. So I'm gonna provision three virtual machines. All of them will be Ubuntu 20.04. They will, uh, each of them will have its own private IP address 172.16.16.101, 102 and 103. And each will have two gig of memory and two CPU, all right? So let me git clone my Kubernetes repository. Um, I already downloaded it anyways. CD to Kubernetes Rancher. RKE and I've got my vagrant file here. All I'm going to do is do vagrant up and wait for a couple minutes. Okay, I'm going to pause the video and come back when all these three machines have been provisioned. All right, so all the three virtual machines have been provisioned. I'm going to open up two more panes in my Tmux session. Okay, and log into each of these virtual machines. So SSH root at 172.16.16.101 and the password is cube admin, SSH 102 cube admin and here SSH 103 cube admin. Okay, and I'm also going to synchronize my panes. So if I just type in one of them, it's gonna get replicated on all the three. Okay, so the only requirement to to run an RKE cluster is to have Docker installed. So I'm going to go to my GitHub repository, uh, Rancher RKE, and I've got my documentation here and I don't want anything. We've done the vagrant up command and all I need is just to install Docker on all these three virtual machines. All right. 
So this is again going to take two minutes or less and I'm going to pause the video and come back when it's done. All right, so that's done. So all we've got now is three blank Ubuntu 20 or four virtual machines with Docker installed. I'm going to clear the screen now and turn off the synchronization. Okay, and I'm on node one now. Let's set up uh, each node one by one. So back in the Rancher UI, I'm going to give this cluster that I'm going to create a name. Let's call it RKE Rancher Kubernetes version. The latest uh, that's offered is 1.18.8. The network provider that I want to use, I'm going to go with Calico, that's what I'm used to. And cloud provider, I'm just going to leave it as default because this is on bare metal, so I'm not uh, using any of these cloud providers. And then click next. And now it's going to give you a command that you need to be running on each of your nodes, depending on uh, what role you want to assign to that node. Uh, for example, in my case, I want node 1 to be master. And I want to set up node 2 and node 3 as worker nodes. All right. So if you want to set all these three as master nodes, you can do that as well. So first, I'm going to select all the three options here. So my first node is going to be an HCD node, a control plane, which is a master node, and also a worker node. All right. So in addition to selecting all these options, I'm also going to do one more change. I'm going to say the IP address, node public address, and node internal address because I'm using VirtualBox. And uh, as you can see, if I do IP uh, address show, so there is this two network interface, but I always want to make sure that all the Kubernetes traffic goes through this internal IP address and not this one 10.0.2.15. And if, if I show you the IP address configuration of the other virtual machines, you can see here all these ETH0 uses the same IP address 10.0.2.15 which is the case if you use VirtualBox. So you need to make sure that your cluster traffic, Kubernetes cluster traffic is using this ETH1 interface. So I'm going to copy that IP address and paste it here 172.16.16.101 and again 172.16.16.101. Okay, and if you want to specify a name, you can specify. I'm going to say it's a node one. Otherwise, if you don't specify, it's going to take the host name of that uh, node, which is the host name is node one. But when I tested it, I left this one empty, but it ended up showing me the IP address of the uh, the node instead of the node name. So I'm going to ex explicitly say my node name. I want my node name to be node one. But give it a try, just leave this blank. It might work in your case. I don't know why it didn't work in my case. After filling all these details, so this is the command that we need to be running on node one, okay? So I'm not gonna hit enter, and I'm also going to change here the commands that I want to run on my worker nodes. HCD, I don't want, control pane, I don't want. So I want to configure my node just as a worker node. And the IP address of my second machine is 102. And here it's again 102 and the node name is node 2. And again, you can see that everything has been changed. I'm going to copy this and paste it on node 2. And on node 3, I'm going to again change this to node 3. 103 IP address, 103. And again, it's just going to be a worker node. Copy that and I'm going to paste that here. All right, so first I'm gonna wait for the master node to complete. That's done, and I'm going to run that on the other two worker nodes as well. You can see the RKE cluster is being provisioned. It's gonna take anywhere between 10 to 15 minutes. At the moment, it's saying set up tunnel for host. I'm gonna pause the video and come back when, when the cluster has been provisioned, but you have to be really patient. It will take about 15 minutes. All right, the cluster has been provisioned. RKE cluster with three nodes. We've got six CPU, two CPU for each, and then we've got uh, two gig of memory for each. So that's six gig of memory, and then 110 pods per node, and we've got three nodes, 330 pods, and everything, is looking good. So now let's download the cube config file. So top here, if you click on that, so that's the uh, the cube config file that you need to copy in order to use from your command line kubectl. All right. So I'm going to copy that to clipboard and close it. And back in my terminal, and I'm going to exit out of everything. Okay. So I'm back in my host machine. I'm going to make a directory called dot cube under my home directory and I'm going to create a file called config and I'm going to paste in the content that's it and now I'm good to run my kubectl command so kubectl cluster info there we go so that's our cluster that's running fine kubectl version we're running version 1.18.8 kubectl get nodes we've got 
three nodes the first node node one is the master node and node two node three are worker nodes node one is also an worker node okay so back in the terminal sorry back in the browser let's try and deploy something so if i go to the cluster rke and the default project let's try and deploy sample application so let's deploy our favorite nginx application and in here if it wants to be a deployment or uh, a daemon set run one part on each node which is a daemon set or a stateful set if you want to run a cron job or something so i'm going to select the default one with just one replica and i'm going to choose nginx as my image let's also expose this nginx service all right so http port and i want to expose the port 80 as node port and i want to specify what node port i want so i'm going to specify 32323 launch okay so updating and back in the terminal i can do kubectl get nodes sorry kubectl get all okay so our nginx part is getting created and there is this nginx uh, service that we exposed and we should be able to access uh, on 32323 port from any of our worker nodes um, and then we should be good to go so kubectl get all okay so that's running and now if i go to 172.16.16.103 for example 32323 and there we go that's our nginx welcome page which is working fine cool let's delete this okay so that's deleted and i'm also going to delete the cluster okay so rke cluster delete all right cluster is gone and in here i'm also going to do vagrant destroy minus f and finally i'm also going to uh, clean up my docker container for rancher so we were running uh, the docker container for rancher so i'm also going to remove that docker rm minus rf sleepy goss okay that's done docker ps everything is gone okay i think that's all i wanted to show you in this video give this a try and if you've got any questions let me know i'm happy to help and i will see you all in my next video until then keep learning and keep on learning Bye bye